It's Matt Santa Capita from the Santa Sales Houses team, and big news out of the Bank of Canada today. They have increased the overnight lending rate by 75 basis points or 0.75%. Um, so what that essentially means is variable rate mortgages are going to increase by three quarters of a percent. Um, you know, any uh, unsecured lines of credit, things like that will also increase. So money is getting more expensive to borrow. Now, uh, I think a lot of people are shocked uh, at the increase and, um, you know, rightfully so, because I think those people who are shocked are normal people like you and I. Um, however, the Bank of Canada has been outlining their plan for quite a long time. And what I do find that people do is when these announcements come out, They'll headline read or maybe read the first paragraph of the announcement and they don't skip to the real meat and potatoes, which is the end. Um, and I'm just going to read to you um, the last paragraph of the announcement here. So given the outlook for inflation, the governing council still judges that the policy interest rates will need to rise further. So that's the Bank of Canada saying further interest rate hikes are coming. Quantitative tightening is complete is, is uh, complementing increases in the policy rate. As the effects of tightening monetary policy work through the economy, we will be assessing how much higher interest rates need to go to return inflation to target. The governing council remains resolute in its commitment to price stability and will continue to take actions as required to achieve the 2% inflation target. What does that mean in layman's terms? Essentially, that's the Bank of Canada telling us that interest rates, their overnight lending rate, is going to continue to raise as long as inflation stays high. The definition for the Bank of Canada of inflation being too high, they just said it, is over 2%. I think, let's be realistic here, once they get closer to maybe into the threes and the fours, they'll probably slow things down a bit. But we're still far off from that as of the numbers that we have. We're at 7.6% uh, inflation as of July. The uh, key or the next main uh, announcement that we need to see is uh, the Canadian inflation uh, rate, which that uh, number for August is coming out on September 20th. Now, I have no idea where it's going to come in. Um, July came in at 7.6, which was down from 8.1, which is, yeah, great, it's down a little bit, but let's be honest, that's really not, that's not enough. We need to start seeing 1% to 2% uh, decreases, and until we start to see that, quite frankly, I'm just going to say it, sadly, uh, variable rate mortgages will increase, the overnight lending rate will increase, and lines of credits, um, the interest on that will increase. Um, I have a hard time believing that inflation is going to cool when you do look at the time of year. So we are in September and in the northern hemisphere, we are trending now into the cold season, which means that things like natural gas, propane, heating oil, just, you know, I guess fuel in general um, spikes. So the consumption of it spikes. There's also an announcement from OPEC. They just announced that they're going to be reducing um, daily uh, barrel production by 100,000 barrels. And they're actually going to move to increase that to a reduction of up to 300,000. So you're going to see um, energy prices are probably going to increase. At the same time, you're seeing fertilizer um, scarcity, um, which is being forced by governments. Uh, and as well with the conflict in, uh, between the Ukraine and Russia, we're seeing that's causing some instability in food prices globally, again, in energy prices uh, and in fertilizer. So um, hopefully we see something a little different over the next kind of three to six months here and we do see some stability uh, in prices. But generally speaking, um, again, um, I think it's easy to, uh, to say you should expect to see some additional Bank of Canada rate increases. Uh, another key indicator that you might want to start following is what is the U.S. Federal um, Reserve doing? If Again, if they increase rates, we're going to continue. And the main key driver there um, is that if the U.S. increases rates, that means it strengthens the U.S. dollar. Now, if the U.S. dollar strengthens, debt repayment for countries gets more expensive because most people are not aware of this, but... Um, countries' debts are paid in U.S. dollars. 
And if you actually start looking at currencies on a global scale, you can see that the US dollar has been strengthening um, Well, everybody's weakening. And so our debt payments, and we're not talking little debt payments, we're talking billions and trillions, um, those debt payments start to get out of hand. So anyways, so my next video on this topic will probably be, call it on September 20th, or if we get maybe some data out a little bit before that, maybe I'll jump in and give you my two cents. But anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them down in the comments. Uh, shoot me a direct message if you like. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video.